I want to go to our next speaker. They say an alliance is based off a friendship, and in this case, that's definitely what happened. Uh, it started off as a purely business relationship, but now I'm so proud and happy to call Jay Kim one of my friends personally, and also one of the Korea Society's close friends. Jay Kim is the president of the Southeast U.S. Korean Chamber of Commerce, and he is also senior manager at Aprio with 12 years of experience. He has expertise in bridging international relationships with a focus on U.S.-Korea cross-border investments and economic ties. Prior to joining Aprio, he had experience at Deloitte, Reuch, and Johnson & Johnson. He graduated with a master's from Indiana University, Kelly School of Business, and a B.S. in Business Administration. Born in Seoul, South Korea, he lived and grew up in Zimbabwe and South Africa for over 10 years as an expat family as part of the, the Daewoo Corporation. Really fascinating story, really awesome guy. Please help me welcome to the stage, Mr. J. Kim. Wow, um, good afternoon. It is uh, an honor, but also hard, because we had so much to speak about, a great agenda, and for me it is really honor, but also hard to give this closing marks. I've been trying to take down notes, um, and I think what I've started as my speech, I'm just gonna throw away, because everything has been spoken to, and has been heard to. Uh, but I would probably wanna mention two things, if I can. Um, I think today, we're here on a shared value, a shared value that we have a common cause in various and different areas of expertise and leadership that we have here. Um, I want to talk about two things. One is partnership and then next generation. So for partnership, um, Jonathan just mentioned, it starts with friendship. And I think uh, for me, first approaching Korea Society, I told them, well, you want to have an outreach event? You need to come to the Southeast. <laughs> Uh, we'll be the legs and arms. You can be the head. We'll work as one together to bring a great event. And I think that's the mentality sometimes a partnership needs. It needs friendship. It also needs a common value of shared mission. And today, I think our shared value and mission was this, that we have very important security as well as the importance of the alliance that has lived over 70 years, we need to keep this up. And we need to be aware because more than not, we take it you know, very granted that we are not gonna have war, <laughs> but it is out there. And I think this awareness really helped. Second, I think we have a shared value of prosperity, uh, meaning economic development through prosperity. We have spent a lot of time, as me as an advisor in businesses, that prosperity whether it's in economic development, whether it's in people and workforce, whether it's in our daily lives, we strive each and day to do that. And currently, I think those two shared values is what brought all of us together in this day. And to not only celebrate, but to move on to what's next generation. I wanna talk about next generation. I can't do it without uh, talking about my family a little bit. Three-year-old that, well, two and a half, coming three-year-old, um, she's probably what motivates me and say that, hey, I want to create a U.S.-Korean alliance that is meaningful in the next 10 years, 20 years, and 30 years that I can say, hey, I'm your dad. I made an impact to your next employer, to your next economic activity that you'll be after you're graduating, hopefully in university, uh, that you can be plugged into. And that, I think that every one of us share today is that next generation is, I think, a critical part for not only workforce development, the supply chain issues, also the whole alliance from a security perspective, and I think that's a real great impact that we share today. I wanted to kind of close in, Mark, I can't thank enough for so many of you that has participated to come and also spend this whole morning with us, including some of this afternoon. I would really love to meet everyone and be able to connect. And I'll end with this. Uh, Southeast Korea Chamber of Commerce in 1991 is what I've heard from history. Started here in Georgia with Georgia Pacific, Coca-Cola. Um, there were really great leaders that started this. As a non-for-profit, it is hard. <laughs> Resources, we have about 20 boards 
And uh, those of you who are on the board, please give applause to yourself because we are a 100% volunteered organization. I have two jobs, <laughs> my night job and my day job. It is the mission and value that we're here today that motivates me to spend my evenings in a cause to create a platform for partnership. And we really hope that each one of you are being part of a nonprofit, be able to serve, and it is a gratifying effect because I know here, young generations, uh, we need to take the time to be serving in a nonprofit because I know that's what's gonna make me come to work and be gratified and be fulfilled because we want to find work that is meaningful. And I hope the corporations also take value in helping the next generation talk about, hey, you need to be serving in a nonprofit. That's going to help partnership. That's going to help bridge education into a next level and developing great workforces. And I hope we do that. Um, without any further ado, to make it short, I would say I want to really give everyone applause you know, the, the one who's serving in the U.S. Career Alliance next to you, and that's all I have for today. Thank you. That's our show, folks. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. We really, really value your friendship, your partnership. We're open until 3 p.m. We're going to do a cocktail hour, which I believe is right outside these doors. So great time to mix and mingle, meet your neighbors, chat. Uh, we really appreciate you guys coming here today. Give it, please give a round of applause for yourselves for making the time to come out here. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.